everybody is talking about the Supreme Court. Now, the Supreme Court has fixed today to give judgment on the appeals by the presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, and the Labour Party, Peter Obi, respectively. Now, the door is praying the Apex Court to set aside the judgment by the Presidential Election Tribunal, which affirms the election of President Bola Tinubu. The Supreme Court's Director of Information, Festa Sakonde, via telephone call, told our correspondent or told correspondents that the judgment on the appeals has been scheduled for today. Now, social media's reacting uh, in reacting to the news. The first person says, the Supreme Court must note that if Tinumbu insists he attended Chicago State University, then he obtained an admission by deceit by claiming he attended Government College Lagos when the school did not exist. Using that to enroll in a university is academic dishonesty, that already disqualifies him as a graduate of any institution. Okay, so I'm going to go right ahead and read the second one. Okay, under that first tweet, we have an image that says, in order to be accepted to a university in the United States, you must have a secondary school diploma or an equivalent at the very least. Then there are varieties of factors to look into. Now, that just uh, points to the fact that the, we call him the defender, but the president did mention that he went to government college Lagos when the school did not exist. So does that qualify for a secondary school diploma? Even though, <laughs> uh, mm. okay. So already, that already begs the question, you know, is the uh, admission legit? But let's go into the other... Uh, let's go to the second tweet. This next one says, the FBI files will be very useful to those who need it. The person who requested for it isn't even a Nigerian, nor does he have a case at the Supreme Court with Tinubu. He partnered with David Hundei, a journalist, to sue the law enforcement agencies. So whether the Supreme Court of Nigeria gives your ruling on the 26th or not, before the FBI files are released, it changes nothing for them. The Supreme Court has, overwhelmed, has overwhelming local reasons aside the FBI files to disqualify Tinubu, so they should start from there. That's how I see it. Next one we're, saying, we're taking says, I guess at the very least I'll get to tell my grandchildren that in 2023, because of some journalistic work I did as a private citizen, the Nigerian Supreme Court moved up its verdict so as to protect a criminal with an impending FBI criminal record disclosure. And this was said by uh, David Hundei as soon as the Supreme Court announced that they were going to hear that they were going to release their verdict today. Moving on now, this next one says, Supreme Court judgment of the presidential election, uh, presidential election of 2023 will happen tomorrow. So that's today at the Supreme Court complex. Unbelievably fast, this. And the final comment says, the Bola Tinubu who graduated from Chicago State University was born in 1954. Whereas the person currently occupying Asso Rock states his birth year at 1952. Justices at the Supreme Court, what more evidence do you require to be convinced that the Bola Tinubu who studied at Chicago State University is not the same with the man in Asso Rock? Hmm. Well, it seems like the court of social media has a lot of evidence, <laughs> you know, against that they feel like the Supreme Court justices should be looking into or should be looking at. Whether or not the justices agree, we would know today whether or not they would make a statement to the effect or whether or not they would say anything that pleases the social media audience or crowd, we will find out today. I know the, what you are talking about mm. is that the Supreme Court judgment has now been fast-tracked, mm -hmm. as you know. Mm -hmm. Judgment was supposed to be given in some weeks' time, mm. but was just brought three days ago days, and yeah. saying that it will be today. Mm. Because FBI has said they are going to release some documents on the 30th. Mm. So when that document is released on the 30th, it's when, and that will be Monday. Mm. So they must pass judgment before the release of those documents. Is that like? Sorry, serious. Yeah, because that one cannot be basis. For another that, lawsuit? Yes, not even basis for another lawsuit. It will be basis. On, in terms of an evidence that, that they, they must, must consider, they must consider. But if they don't have anything like that to consider, mm. they will throw out the cases. Mm. So you cannot appeal again, again in Nigeria. So 
You must wait till. That's what they are trying to do now. Oh, that's tricky. I want to have more faith in the Supreme Court than that, to be honest. Yes, of course. Every Nigerian, every Nigerian wants to have faith in the Supreme Court. Like they've been calling out the Supreme Court, do the right thing, make the right decisions. Nigerians if judgment is passed today, mm. Mm. there will not be FBI. Uh, there are some facts that FBI says they are going to be releasing, and it's on the 30th. That has a lot about that, who oh, is who. So when the judgment is passed, all of that information yes, will be as good not as be you coming to But the question court again is those judgments or those facts and information coming from the FBI from Chicago, is it really relevant to the judgments of you know this particular case? Is it localized? Will it be, you know, that's another question, you know. See, is it relevant? If anybody because it's a global village now if you have served a jail term you're a convict in another country mm. you've done the we can you cannot be the person that will be showcased as, as a leader of a country, country because you go to you and you go to such meetings that are global meetings mm. so the issue here is that if they wait if i wouldn't know what those fbi stuff are but if FBI should bring things that indict a present president on the 30th and the judgment has not been given, I'm still talking concerned about the Supreme Court judgment. judgment, yes. Because not that's... about, because that one can, yes, mm -hmm. his image and all that can be tarnished by, but he'll still be by all those, but it's still the city president. president, you understand? So one wouldn't know, but people are saying that in the public furrow that there are things in the fbi uh, document that is supposed to be released on the 30th okay mm. that's social media like so Facebook in the social media, social media, media courts so when some say, people are now saying yes. yesterday you know like in the social media when i read is that that's why the supreme court is bringing it move this forward. case forward so i wouldn't know if that was the reason. Well, just like you, many of us wouldn't know until we actually do hear it from them or until there's evidence to buttress that point.